In this video, we're checking out the 21 watt Anker PowerPort solar panel. Okay, so if you follow um, me on Twitter, uh, at Spectrum Geeks, you would have seen me tweet recently about this old um, solar aid solar panel I got, I think it was off Kickstarter or, or something a few years ago. I had it plugged into this uh, USB tester to see kind of what kind of throughput I was getting in terms of charging. I also had one of these old uh, freeloaders as well. But as I'm kind of getting more and more interested in this whole, you know, electric vehicle stuff, electric gadgets and, you know, solar stuff, um, I decided to pick up one of these Anker 21 watt panels. Um, so we'll share that with you now uh, and give you my experiences as we go. So I've not tried this out yet. Um, so standard anchor packaging that you'd expect. Open things up. Uh, inside, the silica gel, don't eat it. Welcome guide, don't need that. And the usual uh, happy, not happy uh, card from anchor. So uh, with all anchor stuff, you get you know a good warranty. I've never had need to use it, but it's good to know that it's there. So the key thing with um, any of these solar products is, you know, does it perform in the way uh, that the manufacturer has led you to believe? So all of these panels, they're not 100% efficient, right? So if you don't know too much about solar, uh, that's a key thing to bear in mind. So this um, anchor claim that this power port uh, solar uh, panel setup um, so it's three panels, which we'll look at in a moment. I'll just double check the, the stats. So they claim this 21 watt solar array is somewhere between 21 to 23.5 efficiency. It's got um, two of their Power IQ USB ports in there, um, which can provide up to 2.4 amps per port. Um, so if you're just charging one thing, you should be able to get 2.4 amps out of it obviously optimal um, time um, but obviously if you if you plug it in um, if you plug in two devices to charge it's going to bounce it out to about three amps overall so that's important to keep in mind and we'll see uh, there's a bit of shading here um, so I'll, I'll put some notes as we go through this if I get better performance in, in better sunlight but a good thing for us to test so all fits nice and compact so perfect for if you're traveling we open it up we we'll see here one of the first things that I really like about this product is it comes with this kind of pouch area and this is where you gain access to the um, two IQ USB ports on there is also a little LED which lights up red to indicate that um, power is being generated from the solar array a micro USB cable in there and some silica gel again don't eat it um, so the reason the pouch is really good is obviously, for example, if you're charging any electrical device, but specifically your smartphone, they don't like to be left in direct sunlight for multiple hours, right? So you want to be able to put something in this pouch whilst you're doing the charging to keep it relatively cool and not in direct sunlight. Also, if you're using this on the beach or something, it's going to avoid sand and other sorts of things covering it up and, and scratching it. So as you open it up, here we have the three panel solar array sits really nice uh, and flat but you can orientate it um, however you need to to try and maximize the, the positioning to get the most light from it the other thing i like about it is these eyelets so that means if you've got a rucksack on or something you can perhaps connect that with a couple of carabiners or something and then you can have that uh, on your back uh, as you're cycling along or on your skateboard whatever it may is you're doing perhaps you're going for a hike and you can still charge your gear so let's um, move some of these things out the way to try and make sure this is in maximum light and now we will plug in the uh, USB tester and see what kind of power we're getting so the Sun right now is kind of directly above there is some shading um, from a tree and like I say, I will move it around a little bit to see if I can improve the performance. But we'll plug it into this uh, iPhone 8S and obviously see if it's getting enough power to initiate the charging cycle. 
but also what are we getting statistics wise. Okay, so in the current lighting conditions, it's saying it's uh, getting an input of 5.24 volts. And let me just, just reset everything, just make sure that it's not some legacy statistic. So yep, 5.24 volts. I plug in the iPhone and see what it says. Okay, so it's currently charging at 1.43 to 1 1.5 amps. So that is obviously less than um, what we're expecting. And now I'm not an expert on how these um, testers work. It may be that the tester takes and absorbs some of um, that power, right? So we, we said that if you're using both ports, you would get a maximum uh, output of three amps. Now, I don't know if this, using a tester somehow absorbs some of that power, even though you're only using one port, I don't know, uh, but it's fluctuating between 1.46 and 1.5-ish amps. Um, so I'll just pause the video briefly and I'll try and orientate it more directly into the sun and see if that does or does not change this right because we're trying to get to a, a three amp uh, outage from these three panels okay so i don't know if i was able to catch it on um, the video but the maximum i saw was 1.85 amps coming out of it so i've got to be honest that's a little bit disappointing so this solar aid is really like one third um of the you know the solar panel lineup um and i get from this 0.55 to 0.6 amps um so that's basically like just under half of what three panels are getting so i just don't know if this one panel is much more efficient or if there is some throttling in in the fact that you have um those two cells i mean those two usb ports and somehow with the charge with the um um the two USB ports is impacting that. Now, this is clipped up now to 0.66. So, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not too sure. I mean, I don't have a load of these to compare it against, and I'm Hanker normally quite good in terms of communicating accurate statistics. Um, but yeah, I plugged it back in again now. I'm getting 1.48 amps. So I mean, it's good. Right, it's going to charge. Um, your devices and obviously it makes sense to be able to, to utilize the sun. I'm just not sure if this is as effective um, as I was liking. I think uh, it's not that I don't recommend it. I think just be aware that you know, perhaps with these solar panels you're not going to get that 3 amp um, performance uh, that you are hoping for. So definitely I guess if any of these things go for the largest solar array that you can afford based on what you know you're trying to you know use it for um and how flexible you need to be able to move it around and everything but uh yeah it's not a thumbs up but it's not a thumbs down i think just uh, enter into this purchase wisely a thumbs up would be really appreciated if you're interested in other geek type videos please consider subscribing to spectrum geeks why not also follow us on facebook instagram and twitter and before you leave why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest? Thanks again for watching.